Hi there, Mark Daniel Nelson here with Make My Music. Let's talk about delays. The first song I have here is the electric guitar, swelly guitar, in the Todd Kessler song I did in the automation video. People were asking if I could focus a little more on what the delay was doing and what the settings were. So I'm going to share the settings as well, and you guys can copy them and use them on your own. Let's listen to this. Here I have the two plugins that I'm using for this track, but there is also quite a bit of automation, as you can see, below the audio track. And that's part of the sound. Now, as you can see, I have here the vinyl plugin by Isotope. This is a free plugin. Go on their website, download it. It's really, really great. Now, obviously, it's pretty gimmicky. You can choose what it is, but I like the algorithm settings here as it just changes the EQ curve and you can kind of set it up. And I like to put that in line before my delay because I like to add a little more mangle and decide what I need out of it. And then after that, I have the H delay, which is kind of a, you know, a staple in the industry now as a plug-in delay. The reason why I like it is the feedback loop on it seems to be really creative and it's real easy to automate. And I can show you real fast the filtering that I put into it and what it does on the guitar. So let's just listen to it as is right now and talk a little bit about it after we hear it. Let me go further in the song and actually when it's starting to do some more rocket uh, feedback parts. All right, let's talk about it. In delays, the reason why I had it set up the way it is for this guy is because in that track, the Todd Kessler song, there is quite a lot going on in the center of the song. And I wanted to create an element where the electric guitar was unique enough where it was hard pan left and the delay was hard pan right. And what that does is create the listener's leaning kind of horizon. And for that, you can create automation to come up and down, which will obviously add a lot of gain when you're hearing it and a lot of breathing, like I was talking about in the automation video. But what it's doing in the automation section of the feedback chain is creating the feedback send that I'm juicing every time I feel like it needs to be randomized or repeated in a consistency length. And then automating that too, creates a kind of wave buildup of really neat, unique guitar track. If you don't understand what feedback really does in delay, just think of it as feedback in like a guitar amp or on a microphone in a PA system. Real simple. When the signal goes right back into the main loop, it feeds back and amplifies and it basically builds, 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 builds. And so the harder you hit the feedback loop, the more it's going to sustain and build. But if you bring it back down again, it's that kind of tense organic sound you can create. And it's really unique. And plugin settings don't really do it unless you are able to humanize it and create some kind of artifact to send to it. This guitar track, I liked the noise of it. It wasn't necessarily a melodic guitar track. It's not very interesting sounding. So I wanted to create some kind of sound design ambience that was happening while the song was going on in the middle. The beautiful melodies in the track and everything in the center. The guitar is kind of just, you know, swimming around the song. So creating noise and stuff like that creatively is usually a good sign. Now, people hate the sound of guitar amp buzz. They don't like the sound of hiss and noise, but if you use it for your advantage with delay and stuff, it creates its own instrument as well. So let's dive into this plugin. There's the electrical. The mechanical is kind of like either tape hiss or just kind of just gnarly noise. 
Now the dust, which is basically a vinyl kind of thing, I don't really use. Same as the scratches. I leave those off. You can turn on lo-fi, but I like to use the algorithms up here, the EQ curves. The settings, pretty much if you start from 2000 back, it just goes more and more lo-fi. I've stayed at 60, 1960 era, so that's probably in the middle of kind of the lo-fi sound. And then warp, which is a modulation on its own, and that creates kind of the inconsistent randomized sound. So putting that in front of the delay, it's going to create its own unique kind of sound. So on its own, it really doesn't do much on the guitar track. But once you put the delay in it, it's amplifying that noise and garbage into the delay as well as the guitar part. So it's creating the lift. So let's listen one last time and see what the automation of the volume's doing and my triggering of the feedback. That's a really cool trick I like to do. It's a hard pan thing, and usually when I'm doing these uh, delay tricks, I like to use the stereo imaging for my benefit. And since that song, if you go back and listen to it, only had one electric part, it created almost a synth ambience sound design track around it. Thanks guys for watching, and don't forget to download the presets for these plugins and have fun mixing. <laughs>